hello friend welcome to take advice channel uh, so friends uh, today in this video i'm going to teach you that how can you connect your blogs uh, to ga so basically ga analytics track your website or page or blogs uh, movement like uh, any user sessions or uh, any user related activities so in this video i'm going to show you that how can you connect your ga uh, with your uh, blogs page so basically if you are watching this video first time so please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so uh, first of all I'm, I'm going to show you that uh, my blog page here mm, so you can see uh, I have a blog page where I have posted few few blog uh, so now uh, I have to go to that uh, C panel you can say uh, like uh, setting option uh, so for that uh, you can see uh okay i have to go to uh c panel yep so here you can see mm, i already came to my settings options uh go down yep here you see mm, so uh you have to go to the settings option then you guys seen can see one option ga google analytics properties id property id so this property id you have to provide so first of all uh, right now this is the first time i'm, I'm going to uh, integrate uh, this uh, uh, blogs to my ga property uh, so first of all i have to uh, write that google analytics so when i write into the browser so then you can see here the ga properties like ga basically ga uh, page will open so i have to click on that google analytics.com analytics web so this is the first time so i have to start welcome to uh, google analytics uh, so i have to start the measuring so uh, if you guys want to know in details about the google analytics so i'll i'll make a, some make some videos later uh, how can you track your uh, user behavior how can you track your page behavior so etc i can i can make uh, for you guys mm, so first of all i have to start measuring here so here i have to provide that uh, account name uh, so here i can give the take advice uh, okay uh, so take advice hmm uh and here accounts can contain more than one tracking id okay so here i can see to select the google services the next and then property here create a google power analytics for property web or uh, the property name here i can give here uh, same name sorry take advice okay uh, so the reporting time zone i can change uh, usa okay uh united okay united states okay and currency usd yeah usd dollar okay uh then so advanced properties um, then create uh, okay i turn this one that create universal properties so if you guys uh, want to turn on this one uh, can turn on now or later also can turn on this one this option uh but uh, as uh, as i know that okay uh like next uh, year it will be it will be gonna this uh, like en enable for all the uh, accounts and then ga 360 properties will be uh removed with the ga universal properties so you have to uh create uh, both um, uh, G4 uh, and Universal Analytics. So uh, here I have to give my blog ID. So first of all, my blog ID is uh, basically this one. So I have to provide here. Okay, uh, without the HTTP. Okay, this one okay and then i have to click on next option so next uh, now i have to provide that okay, business information select the industry type so i can here uh, search uh, some option uh online community community basically and medium 10 to 100 employees and what i have to measure here i can tick all uh that apply okay so basically here i can tick all everything together so which i would like to measure and then uh, i have to click uh, create option so when i create the create option then uh, it will provide me the serv services and agreement uh, options so here i have to click if you guys want to read this options and so you can read it because this is the terms and condition um, uh, which one is uh, provided by google's uh, so when uh, basically you read uh, all these terms and conditions then okay here i have to press the i accept uh, measure control 
and I also I have accept that uh, this uh, basically the data processing terms and condition so then I have to click I accept so when I click the I accept so it will automatically create it's saying that success okay and my email communication so basically this one is a uh, web stream details so you can see here uh, my web string details is measurement id is this one so this id if i place uh, in my website as well as uh, you see here tagging instruction all everything will be here uh, if i want to tag google tag manager and go global site uh, yeah so it will be basically tracked this this information i have to paste in in the um, uh, my uh, website uh, like either blogger or any other places so basically uh, if we if you want to track the uh, your the page activity of user activity so uh, you have to just uh, click this measurement id and then you can go to your blog page and then paste here so you can just save it so okay so basic uh, this one is basically track the ua1 uh, the 361 so for that basically i just close this option and i can say that okay Mm, features announcement feedback all i can get it save okay so basically okay save it and then i click next so basically i have to go to ga uh properties uh which one is not ga4 one so ga4 is the upgraded version one and so you can see here i have an id ua22538637979 uh one so this one i have to provide here so uh ua double two uh five three eight five three eight and then next is six three seven nine six three seven nine then hyphen one so this is my e id so when i click here and save it here you can see your uh, the properties is saved so now if i click this one and then i go to the home option so it is it is loading the page so you can see here uh okay uh, try the google name analytics mobile app okay so it's basically showing that okay what need to be uh taken action or not so uh basically it's already active activated uh, but it will take few minutes to to uh, fetch the data from the site to the google so if i go to the real time let's see it's going to ah yeah it's going okay you see here it's showing already okay let me come to come back to home again yeah you see here i already uh here is showing that one active user right now so if i click on that um, some 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 uh, particular page like okay this is the first uh, blog one so you see here the page or option is this one okay local system so it will be second suddenly you see here uh, immediately it will track uh, that which page uh, the user is act uh, actively using so you, uh, for you guys i can go to back and then i can change uh, some other option like okay you, you see uh, this one so this one url is you see here load how to load csv file to be query so yeah it will be here definitely yeah you see here how to load BigQuery in the html so uh, the other details also you can see in the bottom okay guys uh, so uh, rest of this information like related to ga how can you track how can you monitor your um, record or performance so i'll i'll make some video uh, in later future so you can just follow my channel and subscribe so that's all about that how can you connect the ga and your blog uh, together so if you guys have any question or concern uh, so please uh, write to the comment box and thank you very much for watching this video thank you thank you very much